And so like, uh, and there, the veins, the roots are moving too. See, check it out. <laughs> Isn't that creepy? It's like they're tentacles that are gonna grab you. Bioluminescent chemical, or yeah, bioluminescent tentacles tickling the bioluminescent mushrooms. Dwemer. <laughs> it's like a light. There's another one. That's a brother elf. Hello, brother elf. And here's more of his journal. The map we traded a glass dagger to get is a fate. We can't find the pass marked over the mountains. Should see. So they were trying to get over the mountains into Skyrim, and it turns out that the, the map was fake. So instead of getting over the mountains, it led them astray and led them into this cave, and that's why they bit the bullet. Should have tried for the rift. Uh -huh. Took shelter from the storm and the ruins, stepped on a pressure plate, and trapped his inside. Gilderan said he's heard the dwarven roads that leads under the mountains have to try. Isn't that interesting? So he thinks that the that there are dwarven highways under the mountains. I've never found any. I wonder if they really do exist in Skyrim. That would be cool. If we found like a underground interstate, like a dwarven interstate system. Whoa! I love this place, don't you? I can make. I can make this place home. If it weren't infested by Falmer fuckheads. Get out of the way, Jazargenton. Alright, let's go up. We ascend the gigantic tower of... Oh! Oh shit! Oh shit! Alright. Ah! <laughs> right back where we started from. Okay, let's let's take some of these guys out. Should have known we were gonna get ambushed. So, Gramora going, come on! Yeah, there. Okay, and then fireball these guys up there. There's someone up here. Boom! Crack it. There, you deserve it. There he is. Boom. Good, got both of them. Smash. Come on. Somebody keeps pushing me. Will you get your butt over there? Fight. Ouch. Oh, they're coming. Yeah, there they are. Okay. Whoops. Bam. I need to take one out. Just a minute. Right back. That's right about there. Cool. Got him. Then I want to take this guy out too. He's moving out of range. Nope. He's just barely out of range now. Oh, you annoying scumbag. And I missed him. No, yeah, well, I still zapped him anyway. I need to slow time, I think. Yeah, let's slow the time at just the right time. Yeah, right now. Bonk. Ha! Ah, gotcha. And there's one over there, too. It's a Shadow Master. Ooh, he's done. Stop, stop. I want to hit him. Ha ha. I don't know what she's shooting at there. It got her, too. Who's this? Oh, it's a uh, Shadow Master. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Let's shed some light on the subject. Who's left? What are you doing back there? God dang you. Okay, let's loot these guys. Yeah, I carry too much. What's new, huh? It wouldn't be Glorn Skull Cracking if he wasn't carrying too much. Part of Glorm's lore is that he's always carrying too much. Wimpy stool. Wimpy stool. 
Now where's the stupid Falmer? Okay, let's not forget this area here. Okay, there's leather, chitin, or chitin, I mean. That's how you pronounce it, chitin. And then you can, we're gonna jump over here. See if there's anything over here worth looting for now. Okay. And then, ah! We go up. Yeah, up. We killed a bunch of people here. Yeah, there's one. Ears. There's my bolt of shock. Oh yeah, I was hitting him with shock bolts, so I should be able to get them back. Uh-oh, did I use them all up? Nope, I still have a lot. Oh, I only have one. Nope. I used them all up. I've only got one steel bolt of shock left and one dwarven bolt of shock left, so I have to watch it. See, I'm burning through my bolts really fast. And this goes that away. Can we go up any higher? Wow, look at all those Falmer spawns. See the Falmer pods everywhere? Wow. It goes up all the way to the top. And they're just for ornamental purposes. They don't actually serve any function in this level. I, see, I love the level of detail. Even though you look at it for only a second, they went to all the trouble to build that out. Okay, Desargo, come here. Of course, he's gone now. Attention deficit cat. Oh, you cat head. Oh, there he is. I hear him. If anyone sneaks up on us, Desargo only has so much room to carry things. What cutter sacks? Yeah, what am I doing with that? You take it. Grand Staff of Repulsion. Alright. Yeah, take that. Peerless smithing my ass. I don't even smith anymore. And then he can also take Gort Ore, Petty Sword Gem, Heartstone. Oh, what is this hammer doing in my inventory, you idiot? There. We follow that. Yes. Do that. We're getting through that level. We'll eventually get to the artifact. Something smells foul. Oh shit, I know. That smells sticky. Oh shit, it is. I think I'm going to short my panties. Wow, look at this place. I can tell that the artifact is ahead. Detected by what? Ow! Oh, there they are over there. Okay. Hey, two can play at this game. Let's conjure another Dramora. Get all the way, Desargo. Ta da! La la la! Conjuration improved. Okay. What's he skulking about for? I see you, idiot. Ouch, 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 I'm dead. I'm dead. Ouch. There, I just saved. And of course, I it's like pitch black and I can't see anything. Gee, who I don't know who or what killed me, but let's figure it out later. Oh no, I'm stuck in this endless death tree now. I have to get out of it somehow. We'll get out of it. There, I got out of it. Yeah, sometimes you save. Sometimes you accidentally save just before um, you die, and then you get stuck in this death loop. And the way to get out of it is to hurry up and heal. That's all. Oh, look what happened over here. It's a uh, fledgling pod that just opened up. See? So now we've got flying things to worry about, too. What the hell is that? Oh, Warcracker. Jesus. If 
I do this, and this, I think I can get in a few shots and then hurry up and get out again. Yeah. Bonk! Warmonger! He's almost dead! Yes! Got him! Fuck! I knew that was gonna happen. I killed a warmonger and then... And I'm stuck in that endless death loop again. Okay, let me get out of the endless death loop. And then I'll, I'll save it again. Endless death loop. And over. And over. And over. Okay, I think if I move forward, I, that's how I got out of the last Yep. Over and over. Death loop. I hate these death loops. They suck. Okay, there. Ah, God damn, son of a bitch. I tried to press I and it was still too late. Okay, inventory. Inventory. There we go. The reason I died last time is because of... There. Plentiful healing. Shut up. Banging on it. There, I got out. I got out of it. And then let's run out of here. There we go. And if anyone chases us, we can. There's one. We can deal with one at a time, see? But that's just our guys, so don't worry. There, we can deal with this. And now we'll save here. Because we're in pretty good shape, actually. Warmonger's almost dead. Good. Oh, he, we were so close to getting him. Here. Let's just chop him up. Now. There, he's dead. Ooh, it's, but there's actually two Warmongers. Okay, two war crackers. We'll handle them. Oh, you. The second I come out of the menu, I die. No, no, cut. No, I don't do immortal mode. See, that's the thing, is I don't cheat. I don't go into god mode. I only do clipping mode if I absolutely get stuck and like I can't physically move. I just toggle clipping for just a moment, but it's not god mode. I never do god mode. I mean, that just it eliminates the fun in the game. If I do that. So... Warmonger. Good. We've almost got him. There's one. I don't know what I keep getting killed by. I get like mysteriously killed repeatedly by some mysterious force. Okay, my Laura Lord is still zapping him from that side. Oh, there's a hunter. Okay. Fine. Oh, here they come. God, I couldn't. I couldn't even do a shout. And then I just mysteriously get killed again by mysterious force. I mean, we died so many times. We're pretty much used to it now, aren't we? By this point. Fuck. Check one down. Get it, get your ears out of the way, you freaking cat. God damn you. Oh no, oh no, oh no. I'm dead. No! Fuck you, hey. 25 times? Yeah, well anyway, I got out of the death loop. I, you know, so a couple of I'm out of the loop, so don't worry about it. Thanks anyway for suggesting, but I'm out now. There's that stupid Chorus. Okay, let's move faster. Ah! Yeah, I, I really wish I knew what was killing me. Oh, I think it was the snipers that were getting me earlier. Poor Jazargo over there. I can't help you much. Okay. Let's do Pusraga. 
without killing Jazargo. Okay, who's left? Oh, that stupid Chorus. Yeah, crackhead Chorus is still there. Go to hell. Yeah, this guy sucks. He's zapping. Okay, I get it. I get it. I can't let him do that to me this time. Okay, run! Oh, we're still here. Okay, fine. There's that war cracker. War monger. Okay, we can't let him. Can't let him recover. Yeah. Damn you. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Yeah, there's nothing I can do about it. I'm gonna have to become ethereal, maybe. Nope. And I didn't even have time to become ethereal. It just. <sighs> actually, I'm getting. I'm actually getting exhausted. I just want to get this quest over with. I'm getting so sick of this. And of course, people are gonna in the chat will say, "Oh, just go God mode." No, I don't want to do God mode. Whoops. Good. Good. I can get him here. Let's slow down for a second. And there he is. Boy, I'm not doing any damage on this guy. Why not? Let's conjure a Tremora Lord way over here. <laughs> I go to conjure it, and then even even then I die. Mother fucking cunt. God, this is stuff that pisses me off. Okay. Alright. Let's zap. And then zap. Nope, 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 nope. Don't get in the way, Jazargo. I'm trying to kill him once and for all. And I can't do that when you do the good. And I died again! Over and over and over. Over and over. Yeah, well, the darkness doesn't help, I know. But um, I actually had... So I have RCRN installed. So it's supposed to make the dungeons more realistic. But unfortunately, it also makes it a lot harder to see what the hell's going on. But I'm not going to uninstall it. Okay, good. So that warmonger's on one foot now. Get out of the way! It's the same fucking thing over and over. It keeps getting in the way, and then this thing's gonna get me. I really am trying to get... Oh shit! Oh shit! And... My microphone keeps, like, falling down on the ground every time I... I can my monitor. Okay, keep your ears out of the way this time. And I got him. I got Jazargo. So that just makes it worse. Yeah, good. Okay, so we got him. Okay, now, the next thing I'm gonna do is heal myself. Plentiful healing. Whoops. Okay, I guess it's gonna be ultimate healing then. Fine. Run, 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 run! What is wrong with my stupid encumbrance? 370 out of 400, so I must be... I know. I know what's going on. Yeah. I got poison and I got paralyzed. No, I, uh, I'm i not good with wards. I don't have it. Okay, a uh, couple like said would spell in one hand and ward in another ward. No, I, I didn't put any money into, or any skills into wards. So that's alteration, and my wards suck, so... The best thing I could do, you know, I could do this. I could do, uh, um, uh, oak flesh, right? Or no, stone flesh. Iron flesh is even better, yeah. This might help. Yeah, but I need to know why I can't move around. And somebody kept paralyzing me. That's what's going on. Okay, I see what's up now. 
I'm trying to move, and no matter what I do, I can't fix my encumbrance. That's part of the problem. Okay, now let's see if I can fix it first. Let's put both of these on. Yeah, and I'm still over encumbered. And that's not supposed to happen. Why am I still over encumbered? What is over encumbering me? There is nothing that should stop me from moving. I can't move. What the hell is wrong with my... Yeah, that's, that's a major problem right here, is I cannot get out of this uh, move loop. Oh, this is annoying. Yeah, see, it, ah, I can't move. I can't run. Oh, there, now I can run. What the hell is wrong with this thing? It's like my key bindings changed. That's what happened. The key bindings changed on me. How could that possibly happen? The key bindings don't just change on you like that. Uh, and I'm gonna die, and I don't care. I, you know what? I don't give a shit. How could the key bindings change? It's supposed to be X to run. I did see X, but no, no, no Kapalixa. I had Ice Effect earlier, but that's not the problem. The key bindings changed. The key bindings definitely changed on me. This is bullshit. There we go. Okay, I fixed it. You had to mash uh, caps lock like 10 times. I had auto run off. That's the problem. Sprint was... Sprint was even... Sprint's even screwed up. See, look at this. I'm still screwed up. There. Okay, now it's working again. No, it's not the keyboard. Okay. Okay, so Kev P2000, uh, I use a Logitech uh, K120 keyboard, but again, like what I was, the problem I was having, it is not the keyboard, it is the key binding that got screwed up. It's another software bug in Skyrim. It's kind of hard to explain the bugs as they're happening. And you cut, <laughs> um, I knew what the bug is, but you had to kind of, uh, just kind of bear with me and I can figure it out. It takes a little while to figure out the bugs. Yeah, but it's not the keyboard itself. What do I keep missing? There, Warmonger's dead. Okay. And then now the, here's another Warmonger. Since we've got him out here, let's conjure a Dramora Lord. And of course, it'll take, yeah, take a few times to conjure him. That's another problem with the game. Why do they all come to me, like, right now? Whoa! God! I was so close to escaping, and they, they got me, like, in the last millisecond. Okay, that's true. I'm not gonna give up, we're just gonna keep trying. My throat is going hoarse, too, just trying to kill these idiots. Okay, good, we got one. Another time. Anyone? Anyone? Dargo! God damn, I'm getting so sick of those ears right in my way. I'm just gonna start shooting them. Keeps getting in the way, I'll just shoot him. Whoa, what the hell was that? What did it sound like? Did I go at all? I called you suggest any good gaming, gaming headphones. Uh, uh, no, not really. Not right now. Take a sip of your juice. You don't want to get your blood. No, I don't want to take juice, and I can't, uh, recommend any good headphones right now. I want to get through this, and then I'll chat with you guys a little bit later, okay? I mean, you're asking me too many questions when I'm trying to get through this whole level. I, mean, this, I just want to get through this. Oh, well, there he is again with the stupid ear. Get out of the way, Desargo. Okay, there. Now we'll switch to here, and then run. Yeah, just let me get through this level, and then I'll answer all these questions. Just hang on. OK, 
okay, Chorus Hunter. You know, this Chorus Hunter needs to go out, too. That's really stopping us from... Oh, the Warmonger, damn it. Okay. This is a good time to conjure the lore. Conjure, 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 conjure! Conjure, 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 conjure! Thank you for conjuring, finally. And let me get this on so I can run. Oh, those key bindings were so annoying. Well, yeah. Uh, but just so you know, I'm not going to install all of these mods just to fix bugs, by the way. You know, I've dealt with uh, Skyrim bugs this long, and you know, I might install one or two of those mods at the most, but I'm not just gonna add like 20 mods that just fix some stupid bugs that Bethesda should have fixed. Oh good, he's almost dead. And of course, yeah, so then he regenerates, making it impossible to get there, dead. I want to make sure Desargo hasn't died. Is Desargo still alive? Uh oh. Doesn't look like it. Uh oh. I hope Desargo hasn't died. Well, we're in good health, so... Doing good. No, obviously Desargo hasn't died because he's the one zapping the warmonger. Oh shit, here he comes. Where's he coming? him over there. Oh good, just Argo recover. Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay, let's let's get out here. He'll swing around. Yeah. He just it takes him a second to come through. And then um let's actually reconjure the Lord right here. There we go. <laughs> Good. And zap. Is that the warmonger? Yeah, that's him. I can't tell who's Jazargo and who's the warmonger. Oh good, he's dead. He's almost dead. I'm gonna ask him. Again. Don't you dare recover either. Uh -huh. no Aha. Alright. Jesus Christ. That was a warmonger. Boy, that how many how many times did I get? I must have died like a hundred times. Wait, you mean forum 42? You mean you just stopped conjuring altogether? Now, I know conjuring is annoying, but actually the conjuration is really, really useful. I mean, the Dramora, not only are they powerful, but they're also great um, uh, diversions while you slaughter them from behind. That's why I use them more than anything, just to create diversions. So now, I think... Let's see. Okay. This must be the chamber where we're going to find the artifact. This has got to be it. Come on. There's nothing down there. Oh, now we can't get back up. Okay, let's not fall in there again then. Get out of the way, Jazario. At least I don't have the stupid Dwarven Spear getting in the way every second. That's good. It's kind of a relief, actually. 
Okay, then we keep moving along that away. What the hell is this? That looked like a chest, but it wasn't. It's a combination of Dwemer and um, Falmer architecture again. Pretty cool. Okay. Yeah, there's nothing down there. Let's keep going. We're almost there, finally. It's taken us over two and a half hours to get through this whole cave system. And then there's that guy, Steve Jobs fan 25, that just bought Skyrim. Or he just started playing it today. He's in for like thousands of hours of gameplay, huh? And it takes this long just to get through one cave system. It's a series of three caves and we didn't know it. Here we are again. Wow. Dwemer built a, uh, like a, uh, hydroelectric chamber over this. Check it out. It turns out that you could get through there. See? We were down here before. See? We went down through that, down through this area a long time ago. And I looked up here and I said, wouldn't it be cool if you could walk over these pipes? Well, we're walking over them right now. <laughs> Just Argo, being very careful. What is he doing with that pickaxe on the ground? That doesn't make any sense. Wow. Come on. Yeah, he's dragging a pickaxe along with him. To Torvald's cave, eh? Jesus, this place is huge. Torvald's cave. So the crossing was the upper level, I guess. And now we're going back into the cave again. Jobs Man 25, you mean you've been you've been playing Skyrim all this time? Wait a minute. Now I'm confused. Oh well, it's hard to it's kinda hard to tell. Ooh, activate the pole chain? Okay. Hmm? Huh? You know what? I think I missed the artifact, actually. Let's see. Where's the artifact? Torvald's gap. I must have missed it or something. God damn it, just Argo, will you get out of the freaking way? <sighs> I think I missed it. It was back there. I missed it. Oh no, it's a bug. <laughs> Game loading bug. Okay, I, I did. I had to have missed it. Okay, let's go back. Back over the crossing. And through the woods. And then through here. And then back in here again. Yeah, I missed it. What the hell? I don't have to sit in the chair, do I? No. It shows that I'm like right up. Oh, it's in here. I missed the chest. It was in the chest. There it is, the Dawnguard Rune Shield. Okay, guys, here it is. Here's the shield that we came to, to grab. All of that for just this. So what does it do? 10 bash against vamps and sustained blocking creates a minor stun shield doing 10 points of damage while draining the wielder's stamina. Oh, it's a minor sun shield. Well, let, this, let's just take a look at what the sun shield looks like. I'm never going to use it because I'm a mage. I never use uh, shields. What's it called again? Wait, maybe I didn't pick it up. Oh, you crackhead. There. Yeah, now we're going to return to Florentius. I bet he still has more quests after this. I think there's a few more to go yet. Okay, so here's the rune shield. Oh. Turn your bug lantern on, buddy. 
So, yeah. There's the rune shield. Now, if we hold it... Oh, yeah, check it out. That's neat. Whoa. So if you just block once, it does that. And then if you keep holding it, then it creates a shield. That is awesome. But we're never going to use it. Okay, let's get out of here. How do you get out of here? Well, is this the way out? Yep, this is the way out. Whoa! I almost fell down there. Yeah, you want to go up this way, and then this is the shortcut back through the cave system. Let's save here, just in case. Okay. And then we'll go back to Florentius, and then we're done with the... Yeah. It's three and a half hours tonight. Wow, that's, that's a lot. <laughs> And this is our shortcut out of here. Thank you. La. See, now we're back where we started. And then out into Skyrim. All right. That was one hell of a cave. Oh my God. And it's nighttime. Oh, this is actually a good place to end. We, um, we'll go back to Florentius in the morning. Or, I mean, maybe next time, you know, we'll continue right here. My throat is very hoarse, so we have to stop here. Wow. I could give the shield to uh, Jazargo and see if he uses it, but, you know, he's got this, um, it's called the, um, you know, the Snow Elf Shield. What, what is it called? Khajiit guards your back. Jazargo only has so much room to carry things. Oriel's shield. That's what he uses. And stores the energy of blocked attacks. And then performing a power bash will release the stored energy. But he never power bashes with it. You know, whenever he's in battle, he's not using the shield. He's using the zaps. He's using destruction. And then he's also using the sandwood rope. 